Our next contestant is Adrian Garrido Sanchez, and he's going to talk about water sterilization by bubble collisions with microbes. Okay, we all know that water is a really valuable resource. So in that case, why are we going to use it just once? Why not reusing it? But let's reuse it in a really energy efficient way. This is what I've been doing in my PhD for the last three and a half years, trying to find a way to kill viruses, bacteria, all these pathogens that you have in water to be able to use this water, for example, in agriculture. How I do that? I do it with a bubble column. So the question is, what is a bubble column? It's a column with bubbles. <laughs> How I make, you can see the picture. I have a porous surface, so I put hot air through. That creates small bubbles. In the liquid that I want to treat, the water that I want to sterilize, the collision between these bubbles, hot bubbles, 200 degrees, and the bacteria and viruses will kill them. Why this is energy efficient? Because I'm heating air. I'm not heating water. So when I put air at 200 degrees, my water, the solution, with my viruses stays at about 48 degrees. This is cheaper. So I proved that in the lab. And then I thought, OK, I want to build a pilot plant. Since I was a kid, I really like to build things. So let's build a pilot plant. I had to have a look to different variables. First one, the solutions. I try with different solutions, salt solutions, uh, synthetic sweets. I couldn't take real sweets to the lab. And I found different data, very valuable data. Then I try with temperature. Of course, temperature of the air. If I'm killing these bugs with hot air, I try experiments 100 degrees, 200, 300, 350 until I broke my column. <laughs> yeah, I broke many. <laughs> and then I try with different type of gases, oxygen, nitrogen, argon, combustion gas, CO2. And I found that combustion gas and CO2 inactivate viruses really well. And oxygen inactivates E. coli really well. So I put all these things together. I wrote a patent uh, with UNSW, and then I found a company, Australian Pork Limited, that paid for the construction of two pilot plants. And I ran the pilot plant in a real pig farm, treating a real piggery water. And I successfully inactivated all the bugs there. So now I think that this is able to compete with other uh, disinfection technologies. Thank you very much.